And we are back on a Saturday morning with an important health reminder. As a busy flu season gets underway, the CDC says that this year's flu season is already off to a rough start, and it's most likely only going to get worse. At least 10,000 cases have already been reported. Look at this. That's double the number of cases compared to this time last year. And with the holidays around the corner and a long winter, we have a long way to go before it's over. NBC's medical correspondent, Dr. Don Torres, uh, Dr. John Torres, is going to help us get through all of it. Dr. Torres, good morning to you. Good morning. So cases are, are up. We know that. But how could the flu be more severe well, it's this more, season? It's more severe for a couple reasons. One, like you said, it's already twice as severe as last year. Seven states, it's widespread. And the flu vaccine itself is only 10 percent effective against the most widespread virus strain. And so that's going to help it kick in even more. We're just now starting the busy season, which goes through February. But even though the vaccine might not be as effective as we'd like it to be, it's still a good thing to get. It's really the only thing we have. And it'll keep other people from not getting sick so it won't spread as much. What's the guidance on the vaccine this year? Well, the guidance on the vaccine this year is to go ahead and get it. Everybody's six months and above to get the vaccine. There's numerous different types of the vaccine you want to get. On top of that, you have to make sure that you realize it takes two weeks for the vaccine to fully kick in. I wondered about that. Yeah, two weeks to fully kick in. Guess what happens two weeks from now? The holiday season starts. The traveling starts. you were around other people. And the nasal flu vaccine, again, it's not being recommended. So the shot's the only thing we Why have. Why is that? It just hasn't proved effective the last couple of years, as really? in down in the single digits. And okay. so they said, don't get that so one. Then beyond the, the vaccine, what are some other? strategies we should employ? Oh, some of the strategies, especially somebody in the house is going to get sick this winter. That yeah. happens every year. And what you want to do if somebody gets sick is isolate them to a room or two so nobody else gets sick. And you want to pick what I call the house hero. And that's somebody that goes in. That's the person that goes in. They're designated to get them food, get that's them fluids, get them to the bathroom. Exactly. Usually that's what it is. And that way other people don't come in contact with that. So it sounds like you're saying quarantine our children and yeah. find a designated survivor. <laughs> that's one way to look at it. Exactly. And just, again, that way it doesn't spread throughout the house. On top of that, when you're out and about, you're touching objects all day, doorknobs, elevator buttons, all these things. Don't touch your face. Because that's how you get the virus into your body, through your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. So don't touch your face till you wash your hands, because that way it won't get inside. During the day, this sounds kind of counterintuitive, especially on cold days. Open your windows once in a while. Wow. Let that air circulate through, and that'll get everything fresh inside the house, especially those indoor air pollutants will help take care of those as well. So we employ those strategies. We get our flu shot. What can we do to actually boost our immune system? And you know, one of the things I tell people all the time, especially my patients, one of the better things you can do is chicken soup and mom's love. That combination Aww. cures everything. And chicken soup in particular because it actually has a lot of properties that help us with the flu. And it helps us keep us sick from getting sick. It helps boost the immune system. The fluids hydrate you on top of that. Plus, there's a lot of vitamins in there that can really help you out. Coffee is another one. You want to stay hydrated, and you hear that theme throughout my whole speech here, that hydration is extremely important. Yeah. A lot of people think the coffee itself will help dehydrate you. It won't. And in the chicken soup, you can put turmeric, ginger, parsley. All these things help as well. Very helpful information this morning. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. you all right. Dr. John Torres, always good to have you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.